We are gonna get started today. I am so sorry I am late today. One of the children, my brother's kids that is always with me, he might have a cold or RSV, so I came on here very, very late. I'm sorry for the tardiness. We will look at the split. We have a reversed, um, and my deck might be reversed. It was, so let's start that over. We have the Six of Swords and the Eight of Wands. So we have a focus today on your personal health. I feel like it's more mental health with the Six of Swords. Maybe clamoring ideas to make the holiday a little bit lighter. I picked that up with the Six of Swords on the split. We have an Eight of Wands. There could be messages incoming. You know, we saw them in the reverse too. It could be like a lull or a calm before the storm is what I'm sensing as we begin. Also on my left-hand side, we have the Knight of Cups. So let's see what your additional messages are as we get into the first video. The first one will be for Libra. The second one will be for Gemini today. All right, we have the Ace of Swords that just turned over. A truth about something, and I feel like it's very personal for a lot of the people on the channel today. There's a lot of your air energy here coming in the form of that. I feel like truthful connections are what you're going to see up until Christmas, maybe even starting to happen on the 23rd, which we're approaching. Okay, can I get challenge card two? Can I get the challenge today, the Wheel of Fortune? Turning things in a new direction. I think what's going on here is there needs to be a pause. Decisions have to be made in the current. It's always very difficult when other people are concerned or we're responsible for other people. And I feel like that change of direction is just taking a little bit of a pause here in the moment before the actual decision and it is decided. Okay, so we're going to get additional messages. The Empress is at the bottom. Let's keep her in the reading. I feel something here is saying put together. I am put together or I feel put together. The Empress is a strong personality. And so many people are viewing you in this light today, Libras. Okay, we also have a new tower, which is Mars and Scorpio ruled, mainly Scorpio. You could be experiencing a tower either today or tomorrow. I feel like this is a new one coming in and it is surprising to its effect. Okay, surprising words. Maybe even hear an affirmation coming from another individual. Why is that tower here? Can we discover why the tower has shown up today for Friday? And let's see what it is. Seven of Swords coming in sideways. It could be someone's strategy, okay? If you have a person in your midst, Libras, who has kind of like, you know, the Seven of Swords can be their strategy to actually come and talk to you and have a conversation or they need to do this. And I kind of feel like this person knows that they have to. Clarify the Seven of Swords, which is active here. Flipper is the Seven of Pentacles. Realizing that there's an investment in either befriending you or teaming up with you in some way. I feel like in the energy as well, they have always wanted this. So this might be a lover today with the Seven of Pentacles or it's a friend in the environment. It might even be a rift with some if you have a rift with a family member maybe some of them coming to that conclusion seven of pentacles is an investment card it's not a maybe even so this could be coming from a family member perhaps too with the seven of pentacles let's grab the baroque we have the queen of wands i did feel this attractive energy uh, i was even driving earlier to pick up medication for the little one and i saw the empress and her on the split uh, with this deck. So the Queen of Wands is attractive. She beholds information. She's quite powerful too when she's in action. Okay, very intelligent human being too. And both of them showed back up today. So you have the Queen of Wands, Taurus and Libra energy with the Empress. I would rely on a person like this. And I also see that there's a lot of busy energy. You could be in charge of a whole family setup as well today, Libras. Like maybe you're the responsible go-to person. I feel like that has kind of picked up energy as well. Queen of Wands. Okay, so let's see here. What are your other messages aside from the Seven of Pentacles and this tower that's about to hit? It feels surprising to me as a reader. The Queen of Pentacles upright. The Ace of Cups upright too. There's almost like a longing to come and get to you. There's already two main queens in this reading, the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. It's surprising because both of them are sort of like in these Christmas colors. The Queen of Pentacles is something that is reliable about you. It's that nurturing energy, 
people seek your kindness. I also feel like your words bring healing to somebody's life. And this Ace of Cups, this one's like a new one. I feel like you are going to get a heart-to-heart -heart connection that you're kind of surprised by. I don't think you even know it's going to happen. Okay, uh, Ace of Cups. So let's look at that very loving card. It's also emotions coming from the King of Wands. Maybe an attractive person that was uh, linked to you in the past, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could be. They don't have to though. They can embody any other sign that's going on today. The pair that's showing up is the King of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, and also a true divine match here with the Queen and King of Wands. They would be the true divine match. Two attractive people in this reading. I also feel like you're surprised. I feel an extra thing that you might be surprised by. Could I see that, please? What's that? Thank you, the High Priestess, okay? You could have known it was coming. You could have sensed it, or your intuition tells you what to finally do. It might be about a decision, okay? It's like you already have the answer, and I feel it as it turned over beside the Ten of Cups. You also have another one here, the Seven of Cups. See, this is where your options are, baby. This is, I kind of felt that with the Queen of Wands. There's an option that comes in for you, which you are taking, I would say it's it's taking you aback in the moment. This might be experienced between now and the next few days, okay? Including also family members. Can I see the current High Priestess? What is that that Libra is so sure about? The King of Cups turned over about someone's emotions or this is you, Okay, I feel like with the Queen of Cups without being here in the read, she's absent, obviously, but you do have this King of Cups that is still very concerned about what's happening. It's coming in as a very caring energy to your High Priestess, and somebody knows that you are indeed the High Priestess. Many of you on the channel are. You're very seeing, very telling. You have emotions before they set in in the 3D, and I feel like somebody really needed that message today. Uh, you are the High Priestess, okay? Essentially, Libras, very, very attractive energy. We want to see why this is here and what you are doing. Okay, let's keep going. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Can we clarify that and the Queen of Wands? We have an upright, very upright Two of Cups. They think of you as relationship material and the beginning of a partnership. This new person is excited about you, okay? If you have a new person, and if it hasn't come to fruition in the actual energy. Somebody views you as a very loving person that they could date. This is the Two of Cups. What else is involved with the Queen of Wands, even for our masculines? Again, it's commitment. Hierophant, Taurus. Could even be coming from a Taurus itself, or there's somebody trying to connect with you on a relationship front. Ten of Cups is also here next to that beautiful Empress card that is a mermaid. Page of Pentacles. Let's talk about this. It's an early investment that comes in with some, but a little bit of poise where somebody is youthful. And that's what I was trying to say. It's brand new. It comes in as a new investment. The Page of Pentacles I used to lovingly say was the diaper boy on the channel, but he just comes in with that big old pentacle and at least trying. It's also associated to skill development or a talent which you work on. So today it has dual meaning because you're the Queen of Wands. Okay, there is like a amazing divine match. I've been picking it up in the last two reads only. There's a new coupleship forming with somebody maybe equally attracted to you, Libra, and attractive. Okay, their investment opportunity is becoming a couple, and that would be the investment from them. Can I see the connection between these two cards? Can I see the connection for Libra? The Three of Pentacles. This was also at the bottom of the deck earlier, if you caught it in the viewfinder. Three of Pentacles was after shuffle. Wanting to work with you, there is a beneficiary factor of working with you, even if this is love. If it's not love and this is just maybe the Two of Cups is business for you today, it's an equal surmounting view that you would be a good partner. Okay, these are like co-workers that want to go into a business with you, also your current boss. They're looking at you as dependable. Three of Pentacles is the beginning of a working relationship. Okay, so we got that going. And if you're still with me, we have the Page of Pentacles to clarify. And the King of Cups, is that the same person? It's a Six of Cups person from the past showing up here. Could be a water sign. 
okay? But they don't have to be. They're just reminiscing about you. Let me move decks, Libra, and I'll use this for future clarifiers. The big ones here are the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. I would say somebody definitely wants to invest in a relationship with you because there is a caliber here to explore. And that's how I want to put it because the channels are coming in quite fast here in the end. The caliber of also making something happen. I'm hearing the old, like I think it was 1993, Mariah Carey came out with a song called Make It Happen. And that's what the punch and the bass line of that song is what came to me just now. Okay, so let's look at that Six of Cups. What is the Six of Cups in hindsight of all of this, the lovers? Okay, so we saw this card premiere yesterday. Very, very new energy. It's in red too. There's a lot of passion here. I feel to talk to you. I also think that this person reminisces a lot. If you have a King of Cups in your life, or maybe perhaps you've recently become your own King of Cups. The past has reminisced as well um, upon your effect on them. And you have another flipper here. The Page of Cups is now reversed. When he's reversed, he takes on more of an immature energy. It's more indecisive. And I feel like this person has completely paused at this time. For those of you watching concerning a person you're dealing with, that would be them on the reverse. So... And I do want to look at it reversed. Give me a second here, Libra. Can I see what the Page of Cups reversed is actually saying? The King of Cups. This came out in a completely different deck. When I see doubles in a reading, it just means that this person is currently sitting there and they haven't moved. Uh, they've been deliberating in the King of Cups stance. So this is attached to whomever you've come to watch tarot for today. They could be sorry about something. They could heavily be in their emotions because they'd like to be with you. Maybe to uncover a truth, I feel. And maybe also to be sorry about a occurrence that happened between the two of you. That's coming in strong because there's two of them. The two King of Cups. And we're going to go ahead and clarify these doubles. I want you to see how different they are in this deck as opposed to just coming from one. They both have white hair, which means maturation, maturity, and sitting in those feelings rather sensitive, okay? The only difference between the queen and the king is the king is able to hold it in deeper, where the queen of cups might intuitively share that with others, or she might even talk about it, okay? So let's keep going with that double king of cups. Very interesting. Let's see what that's about. Can I see in the current the two king of cups might even be the same person? And that Six of Cups, we're also double clarifying this, if you don't mind. The Six of Cups can be reminiscing on past Christmases too. We have a Knight of Cups from the Light Seers. This is a lot of longing for you. I feel like they're attached or maybe like addicted to your energy or you wonder about them too sometimes, Libra. If this is a current person, you're going to be watchful for the romanticism. At the end of the day, the Knight of Cups is about romanticism. And that's lovely because this is the person that they are attracted to or this is your energy. Remember, all cards carry an energy to them too, just like the King of Wands, the Burger King here. So there's definitely a play on relationship dynamics. For some of you also in money, something from the past could be coming back because the Six of Cups can be something from the past cycling back to you. Okay, uh, let's clarify that Knight of Cups. What is the Knight of Cups? There's three. We have the star. The star is here, Aquarian with this purple, beautiful effect, and the lavender. The lavender is a sign of peace, tranquility. It's also this star card too, this person. We understand that this person is healed. And what's going on, I think, is this per this person watches you as you do your healing Okay, past, present, or new. Present would be new. But we also have the Six of Swords. So it could be a rift from the past that somebody wants to seal and fix here before Christmas time. Why am I why am I picking up on that type of relationship? Like it's almost to bury the hatchet, but for some of you, it's okay to walk away from this instance or you already have. And if you have, this person is still attracted to you. New person, very much so. They come in as a current Knight of Cups. Okay, um, Hanged Man is also here, which is a new perspective that's coming in also from the Light Seers. I think that belongs to you today. 
and it might be difficult to adjust there, just allow the adjustment to happen is also what I hear. You have the five of swords. I felt this in the energy and you can't deny that there's some type of anguish, even if it's little. This king of cups feels sorry for doing something to you, Libras. And I feel like if it's somebody that you know is a king of cups in your life, that would be the clarification card, would be the five of swords. Okay, any additional messages for today? What's the highest advice if this is anyone's story on the channel? The nine of cups. To actually sit here for a moment, enjoy your day, do anything that you love. If it's curling up with a book, finishing up work, or if it's tying up loose ends for Christmas, those activities, you will be shown something as well between those activities up until Christmas as well. And I feel like you're going to catch something, whether it be a song or it's an internal download. Okay, uh, let's see this Knight of Cups to end this first video. What's the Knight of Cups, please? And we're going to go into water signs today too. We will do that as video two. Justice. This is what's going on in the background when you turn down the microphone, is what I want to say. The Justice card is enacting that this is happening on a spiritual level. Okay, you might feel that you're being prepared too for a soulmate that's more ready for you. If this is love, if it's very, very personal, the justice card is just saying, stay where you are and don't do anything. Okay, a message is going to come within that. Your moves are going to be guided too because the star is here. And the star sometimes is somebody very intuitive or a seer themselves. Okay, that seems to be comforting in this all because... I feel like the star is just that little night sky twinkle that you're going to see throughout this whole entire weekend. There are adjustments happening, but let them form, all right? There has to be some type of flow here. Also, it might help to like also ground your energy to go outside, take a walk. Listening to music is really helpful as well. Knight of Cups, please. That was the last shuffle. The Knight of Cups. One flipper here. We have the Nine of Pentacles, the Magician, and the High Priestess. You're coming to conclusions about one person, and this is coming in as love. I have to say how the channel is. The King of Wands, it concerns you, the relationship with this like provocative person in your reading, the attractive person. You would rather be with something a little bit more wholesome and safe. I don't know why I'm picking that up. And one of your options, uh, Libras who are dating, is a little bit more your style and like I'm getting the word safer for some reason. They are manifesting you secretly behind the scenes. It's a very loving energy. It's not like a stalker, you know, when you hold up the magician. It's not a stalker essence. They admire your beauty, your physicality. They even know the extra nods to your person your persona and your personality that add to your personal flavor. So I'm picking up here and it's it wouldn't be someone who tracks you or anything like that. It's a magician who's just very interested in dating you. And that's what I pick up with Gemini and Virgo. They might even be those signs. I have an Aquarian, a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, and a definite Pisces with the High Priestess for this read. Also, this Knight of Cups is Cancer Pisces Scorpio. There could be another Libra for you as well. I want to add or an air sign because justice can signify that that would be a person here showing up in your reading. Number 11, the Justice card. All right, last and final message. One card, please. The Queen of Pentacles. I saw this, uh, when was it? I did a pre-shuffle very early, Libras, and she was the first card out in my morning one when I do a checkup. The Queen of Pentacles might be who you end up being at the end of the weekend. Very giving, sometimes spreading that cheer to everybody and being the leader. The best thing about this card is there's no loser uh, when she shows up. Everybody benefits, but this person also needs to have special care. And I think that there is a special person coming for you in the events that lead up to the next few days. And I want to leave it short, sweet, and complete there because we're going to do tea leaves a little bit later tonight. There's a lot going on with my family with a little sick boy. So if I return, um, it might be later on in the evening. It might be a smaller video too. So thank you guys for understanding at the end of this video. I hope it helped. The biggest cards would be justice. I think just to keep this in mind, it could be your very own nostalgia as well that's 
coming into the reading, showing that you care too about past Christmases, maybe even hear memories. It can involve your cousins or just looking back at photos. The Six of Cups could be. Okay, short, sweet, and complete. I'll see you guys in video two, possibly a third one as the night rolls on as well.